Oh, Gary, n a s a i m i n a s a n Today we're gonna talk about k a m e r i d e r g i t s episode 32. Who would have thought that UQS would actually lose in this episode? Holy shit! I actually kind of like talk about this in the beginning part of k a m e r i d e r g i t s review. I actually talk about halfway through the series. Definitely, there's gonna be someone else who actually won the DGP. I actually speculated that it is gonna be k y k y is gonna win, and then he is gonna resurrect all the dead riders, something like that. But I really did not see coming. I really did not see Buffa actually being crowned the Jamato deity itself. That is so crazy, and I have to say the new Buffa is. Looks really, really good. Okay, he looks amazing with the golden horn. Oh my god, I love Buffa right now. Like he is everything that I want from a villain. Okay, I, I, like I still couldn't actually get my head around that calling him a villain, but he is really, really amazing. I. I have to say, all the hope that I have that he's eventually gonna have his own redemption arc, all throw that out of the window. Just throw that out of the window because we are. I don't think that we are ever gonna get a Buffa redemption arc. He's just gonna go full on out a villain starting the next episode, and we're gonna see him. Challenging all the rider, like he's gonna challenge all the sponsors, all the game master. He's gonna challenge the management of the DGP. So hopefully, we are we are not gonna get too many episodes without the main character of the show, UQS. Okay. By the way, I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but next week. We are not gonna get Ukio S in the episode because he is currently gone. He is currently dead, and I actually speculate this in episode 31 review. I actually talk about how when it depends on which side actually won. If the the human won, if the rider won, then the human is gonna get resurrected. But if the Jamato won, the Jamato is gonna get resurrected, and that is what we saw by the end of this episode. The Jamato was resurrected, but we don't actually see any scene of the human getting resurrected. So holy shit, there are so so many people that died in the in in this game and. Part of them are Niram, Ukyo S, k e o a Oh my God! The only rider left to stand against Buffa is Nago, uh, Kyun, uh, and also I am not so sure whether or not Kekera is gonna join them or not. But there is a possibility. And then we got obviously we got Zin, and we got also Chiram. Also, there is gonna join them together to fight against Buffa. But they are they are strongest character. Ukyo S is not gonna be there to join with them. Holy shit! I am, I I am impressed. Okay, I really did not see this plot twist coming, and I I for some weird reason it just I I just couldn't believe that Yuya Takashi is willing and, and bold enough to actually make a decision to just take away. S from the story itself, like and and allow S to lose halfway through the series. But this is the plot twist that we need. This is the big nani the F moment that we need in the series itself. And I I would say starting the next episode, we are not gonna get any uh the desire Grand Prix. We are not gonna get any jump. Um, we don't know we're gonna get a Jamato Grand Prix. Is another big big question, okay? Because right now both of the Vision Driver belongs to the Jamato side, belongs to Beroba and belongs to Bafa. But one thing we need to understand is, ah, uh, how do I say? Um, Beroba actually said that after Bafa actually won, become a winner. The relationship, the collaboration between them is gonna end. So I'm not so sure whether or not Beroba is not gonna sabotage, ah, uh, Michi. No, is not gonna sabotage Bafa or not. Okay, because there is a possibility that Beroba is gonna present herself, be like, oh, okay, so I'm, ah, uh, uh, you know, I'm still on your side. I'm gonna support you. But at the end of the day, we're gonna see Beroba kind of like. 
backstabbing Bafa in the back or something like that. But then again, at the same time, like Beroba actually uh, like kind of like show that she is definitely falling for uh, Bafa itself. Like yeah, definitely the my type something like that. So there's a possibility that Beroba is not gonna betray Bafa so easily something like that. But then again, a few things I want to mention in this episode is the first thing I want to talk about is. Ukyo as like using Magnum and Boost is really really smart to kind of like ch he he challenged Bafa using Magnum and Boost and he purposely lose so that he can got he, he can get his hand on the Vision Driver. But one big thing that I I I am really really surprised is how the hell did Giz actually hold the weapon of Magnum without? Henshin into a Kamen Rider. I thought that the gun is gonna like, you know, like go missing after you de re remove your Henshin, something like that. So that is kind of like not explained properly, something like that. But I don't know. I really, really do not know. And after watching this episode, another big, big thing that I noticed is the the story moving forward. It, it, it kind of resembles the Three Kingdom. Like, there's like Three Kingdom going on and, and there are wars going on between these Three Kingdom. Like, like one of them is going to come up on top. And in Kamen Rider Gates, we are also seeing a similar thing, a Three Kingdom thing. The Jamato is one kingdom, the DGP is one kingdom, and the Rider belongs to another kingdom. So these Three Kingdom are not working together. They are, they are, they are actually kind of like against one another just especially after this episode we actually get to see as is not being very very happy with what happened to his mom and, and he is actually challenging Niram he's starting to rebel against the DGP as well so we are actually seeing a fight between these three parties these three kingdom and it is gonna be really really interesting moving forward I'm really really curious to see like how like what is gonna happen to Kewa after he returns from the dead and how like, like, like how how things are really gonna go okay like when are we gonna see uh, uh Kewa getting the power up that he's deserved and getting the character development that he actually deserves like we has been talking about that Kewa that Kewa that Kewa and we don't actually see that happening so far and I'm really really worried that maybe at the end of the day Bafa is gonna become more of a prominent character in the show compared to KY itself like a lot of people are still like holding on to hope that KY is gonna have the fantasy rice buckle and it is gonna be amazing but I'm, I'm still not sure how things are gonna go we just have to wait and see but the episode actually ended with a really really weird twist that we actually get to see Desire Royal no is it yeah Desire Royal actually make a return and the first time we actually heard of Desire Royal is in the movie crossover between Kamen Rider Geese and Kamen Rider Revised movie Battle Royale and in that um, story itself that is the original Kamen that is the original DGP and this is being proven by what Jin actually found out in this episode and he actually told OKOS used like back in the day Desire the DGP used to be a, a sports it, it kind of like a colosseum where all, all the best gladiator all the best warrior gather together and, and fight with one another and when you won in that uh, colosseum in that Desire Royal you're gonna be given a gold coin and we actually get to see Ukyo S actually have that gold coin that Caesar gold coin is act I, I would I would say actually belongs to the the first S and even the kid S that we actually saw talking to Mitsune like hey I think it's better for you to forget about me and all those stuff that is not the first S that is the second S I would assume and the first S is actually the one that actually won in the previous Desire Royal and she is the first one that actually have the access to Mitsune like wish granting ability maybe he wishes that hey I want to be resurrected I want to be reborn something like that and that is how we actually get to see like how Ukyo S is able to retain his memory in every in every reincarnation something like that so maybe like the 
original memory that S actually have is that I want to remember all of my training, all of my my kung fu. I he, he, maybe he he wishes that I want to meet more warriors in the future, something like that, and that is why he wants his memory to be retained. I, I, that is just a speculation. I'm still not very very sure, but I it just seems weird that the coin was being mentioned once again in this episode and it is actually a, a a kind of like a symbolism that you actually won in the original dgp itself before it became such a interesting game itself so really really crazy episode we got quite a lot of information and based on the desire royale like ending we actually get to see a few id call that really really stood out to me the first one that i noticed is uh hallelujah win uh id call which uh i forgot what was the rider name for hallelujah already uh i think yeah and then we also get to see gin pens uh id call we also get to see if not mistaken da pan's id call like it's all the old school rider that we don't think that we are ever gonna meet before is actually making a return okay so this is really really interesting because how things are gonna go is a really big big question mark here moving forward maybe the the how do i say the story moving oh not gin pen it is not the id call of gin pen but it is actually the the id call of sparrow itself and among all the seven id call that was being shown to us by the at, at the end of this episode there is one new id call that we never actually saw before and that i'm not so sure what animal this is but it actually looks kind of similar to a cheetah or um, something cat like okay it's definitely a cat but I'm, I'm not pretty sure what animal this is if you know if you have any idea let me know in the comment section below so i have another theory that maybe the desire royal is gonna be a movie exclusive thing because uh now that osama sentai king oja is released and obviously they are kind of like and, and we are in the we are moving forward to summer already so there is definitely gonna be a summer movie between Kamen Rider Gaze and Osama Sentai so maybe this Desire Royale is actually teasing us to that happening as well and in the Game Master that actually have all this ID call is kind of like trying to resurrect all the dead rider and kind of like joining back into the desire royale to kind of like have a all elite battle royale something that I'm, I'm not sure how how they are gonna how things are gonna go but that is just my speculation of this desire royale it is not actually gonna be a part of the series but this is kind of like a teaser to what is to come in the crossover movie between Giz and Osama Sentai that is just an idea okay but that is all from me hope you enjoyed this video if you like what you see you know what to do subscribe and if you made it this far into the video thank you so much i really really thank you so much and i want you to leave this word in the comment section below to let me know you actually finished the the episode itself and the word today is hanami hanami means looking at the flower okay looking at the flower it is a term the japanese use when they when the sakura bloom and they actually have a hanami session they, they go and have a picnic and they enjoy the sakura and all the stuff and the reason why i said that is because uh in in where where i am right now there's a hanami Hanami festival and it is amazing i took quite a lot of amazing photos but yeah that is all hope you enjoy and i'll be seeing you guys in the next one goodbye